What's up, everyone? Corey Parks here with HydroHelp 91. We just got asked on a recent job of whether a crawl space encapsulation needs a dehumidifier, and thought we'd shoot a quick video just to help um, help educate our customers or potential customers. Stay tuned, and we'll have more for you. So, does your crawl space encapsulation need a dehumidifier? First thing we gotta do is look at what North Carolina Building Code lays out for us. Um, there's three options in the North Carolina Building Code. Um, option number one would be some type of variation using your HVAC system um, to uh, help dry the crawl space. A couple issues we gotta look at there. Um, number one is was your, if your house is already built, is your existing HVAC system sized big enough or correctly to heat and cool that air, which in return is gonna help reduce the moisture. Um, the other thing we have to look at is, is uh, if you're building, you know, the additional expense of sizing that HVAC, but also to do this properly, you really need to put in a return and a supply into the crawl space. Well, once you put that return in, it is going to um, pull the air from your crawl space pull the moisture out and spit it back out. But the question you gotta ask is, is where else is that air going throughout your house? Um, you're gonna have dust mites and allergens and stuff like that that it could be sending in other areas of your house and you definitely don't want that. Um, so an HVAC system is, is, is not, in our opinion, the best way. Um, the second way would be a mechanical drying system, or excuse me, a mechanical ventilation system. Um, basically the premise behind something like that would be uh, sensor on the inside of your crawl space, sensor on the outside, and when that system sensed that the outside air was better than the inside air, it would turn on and bring in new fresh air and push out the old moist air. Um, in theory, that sounds great, and we've actually got some experience installing some of these uh, fresh air systems, such as the Atmox system, and in our opinion, uh, in the climate we live in, in the region we live in, there's no good air to bring in. Um, so when, when we ask the manufacturer, well, what do we do if it's um, too high humidity or too hot outside or the relative or the um, dew point is too high? And they say, well, just, you know, just install a dehumidifier. So um, that brings us to our third one, uh, which is the dehumidifier, which is the one we prefer. It's what we like to install. Um, it is the only one that is self-sufficient. It drains on its own. It cuts on on its own. It only blows air and pulls the moisture from the crawl space. You don't have to worry about it spreading allergens or dust mites or anything like that throughout the rest of the house. Um, so in our opinion, the dehumidifier is the right way to go. And the answer to the question is yes, you do need a dehumidifier in your crawl space when you encapsulate it. No matter who the company is, no matter how well their encapsulation is, there's always going to be moisture that gets in that crawl space and you need something to remove that moisture. If you don't have something to remove that moisture, you're going to end up in a lot worse position than you were before you even got your crawl space encapsulated, and that's something we don't want. Trust us, we've seen it from experience. If you have any questions on uh, crawl space encapsulation or whether you need a dehumidifier or what size dehumidifier or anything else regarding crawl space and basements, reach out to us. You can call us at the number below. You can look us up online at hydrohelp91.com for more information. Looks up on Facebook and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can see more like this. Y'all have a good day.